that the booming economics uses the fact that people are rational. I said, well, we learn economics about utility function, and utility function functions need people to be rational, therefore people are rational. That's not very much an argument, and maybe you guys are not fans of arguments by some people. There are also some reasons, some normative reasons, why we do better modeling, what at least I believe we do better modeling in economics, assuming that people are rational. Why do you guys think? I'm really interested in that it's not a problem. Why do you think we should assume that people are rational? Or maybe not. Don't say this, like, how can we like, start studying the people's behavior if you want to try to predict what they're going to do? Do you have to make kind of rules? Like, I agree with that. Like, there's one way to be rational, but there are many ways to be rational. As a, I, I, I'm not sure if this is exactly what I mean, but let me get to this point again. Whenever you become a, a, a greater, a greater exam, you're going to realize it's really painful when people get answers wrong. Because there's often just one wrong right question, but many wrong questions. The same way, there's only one way people can be rational, but there are many ways that people cannot be, can be irrational. And if you're going to start saying that people are going to be irrational, what are, how, what are you going to say that people are? How is not be irrational? Is that what it's not really? Yes. I'm just saying, like, I feel like economists are trying to make rules just to try to predict what they say. Like, okay. It's like if you drive a car and there are no rules, everybody's doing their thing. So if you try to predict what they're going to do, you have to kind of try to box something. I'm not, not saying like I believe in this, but this, I understand why economists are doing this.
Well, there's one, one way to be rational. There are many ways to be rational. sometimes mistakes in rationality, but if they make mistakes from one side and mistakes on the other side, uh, an average is zero. Sometimes they're not. One reason that I like is rationality is a simple assumption, and we want to keep the model simple.
related to oh, what's her name? Nelson. Nelson? Nelson? Nelson. Nelson. What Nelson said is in the end, we would like to predict human behavior. And we do a better job if instead of saying, oh, this person is irrational, this person does not know what, or what she's doing. Maybe it's better, it's better if you actually believe this person knows exactly what she's doing and you can learn what their motives are, and the reasons. And if you're assuming that people are rational, if you've seen that, that video that I, that I put the link in the class, people try to predict, they, they come out with the idea that terrorists are rational, politicians are rational, people who give money for charity are rational, and you do a better job predicting their behavior. Think of all in economics, you do a better job when you see that people are rational. Before we go, there is one issue. It's an administrative block. Uh, I cannot teach on Monday, this Monday, because of, uh, I'm moving all my stuff on Monday. So uh, I'm going to need a replacement class. In order to do so, I'm going to put, I'm gonna put a few suggestions uh, of a time to replace the class in a poll in the website. And you guys can go there and vote anonymously. So the suggestions are